Tesla is preparing to launch Model Y with a new range. Could it be the new Model Y with 4680 battery cells and battery pack built at Gigafactory, Texas? Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. According to a new filing with EPA, Tesla is preparing to launch a new version of the Model Y with a puzzling range of 279 miles and all-wheel drive powertrain. Could it be the new Model Y with 4680 battery cells and battery pack built at Gigafactory, Texas? Asks Electric. The EPA has released a rating on a new version of the Model Y. Officially, Tesla currently only sells two versions of the electric SUV. Look at this. The first version is the Model Y long range all wheel drive with 330 miles of range and starting at $60,000. The second version is the Model Y performance with 303 miles of range and starting at $65,000 range. Now preparing the 279 miles all wheel drive. The EPA lists another version, the Model Y standard range rear wheel drive, which Tesla briefly offered last year before discontinuing it after CEO Elon Musk said he wasn't satisfied with the range. Now, the EPA added another version of the Tesla Model Y to the list of 2022 models, and it's an interesting one, especially with the imminent launch of the Model Y made at Gigafactory, Texas. The new Model Y is listed as 2022 Tesla Model Y all-wheel drive on the EPA's website. Now, you can see it is listed with EPA rated range of 279 miles on a single charge, significantly less than the current Model Y long range rear all wheel drive at 330 miles of range. Therefore, it appears to be a dual motor powertrain Model Y with a smaller and significantly more efficient battery pack. While it cannot be confirmed right now, the leading theory due to the timing is that this could be the new Model Y that Tesla is starting to produce at Gigafactory Berlin. This new version of the electric SUV from Tesla is going to be equipped with Tesla's own 4680 new battery cell and a new structural battery pack. These changes are expected to affect the specs, so either Tesla tries to match them to existing versions or offers a different one, which could be the case with this new Model Y all-wheel drive. What do you think about this, friends? We are expected to get more details once Tesla starts deliveries from Gigafactory Texas, which is expected to happen by the end of this month, just like Giga Berlin deliveries. Please let me know your thoughts. What do you think, friends? Um, it'll be probably the LFP battery pack with a higher sales price than the railroad drive to maximize gross profit margin until demand dwindles enough to release the railroad drive version. Now, I don't know. First thing that came to mind was LFP not 4680 battery cells. But let me know your thoughts. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a wonderful day. God bless you, everyone. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. Today, I have some very interesting images to show you from Tesla Giga Texas. Thanks to our friend Joe Tok Tegmeyer, who always uh, chronicles Giga Texas's progress. Tesla Giga Texas Model Y stock has doubled to over 400 and more supercharging stalls are being installed at Giga Texas as well. So the latest flyover videos over the Tesla Giga Texas uh, or Giga Tex uh, Tesla Giga Austin plant recorded on March 9 revealed more than 430 made in Texas Tesla Model Y. By the way, friends, in the future, if you see Giga Texas and MIT, that means made in Texas. So we're seeing more than 430 made in Texas Tesla Model Ys on the Giga Texas property. That's over 200 more than on February 27, when we counted about 230. This is why I said they have doubled. It would suggest 
that the average increase in the number of cars in front of the Giga Texas plant is above 20 per day over the past 10 days. So is it safe to say Tesla has built at least 20 Tesla Model Y vehicles at Giga Texas and the production is ramping up? That's natural to say. We don't know whether it's the total of the net difference because some of the cars might be taken out already. But regardless of that, it's clearly an early ramp up phase at Tesla Giga Texas. Now, what we can notice is that basically all of the cars are black or blue. I like the black color. What about you, friends? The vast majority of made at Giga Texas Model Y appear to have 19 inch Gemini wheels associated with the entry level Model Y long range all wheel drive version. Some have different wheels, probably the 21 inch Uber Turbine wheels, which are associated with the performance version, uh, notes Mark Kane in Inside EVs. Now, he says, let's recall the manufacturer has not yet announced the versions of Model Y that will be produced at Gigafactory Austin, nor has it stated specs or prices besides confirming the use of 4680 type cylindrical battery cells and structured battery packs. By the way, if you are interested in the 4680 battery cell, uh, cylindrical battery cells used at Giga Texas, look at my yesterday's report. It's very important report because it looks like Tesla may have created created a problem for itself. Now, there are several potential options for the made in Texas Tesla Model Y. First, long range all wheel drive, standard specs, but with 4680 cells. Second, performance, standard specs, but with 4680 cells. Third, Third option is both versions, long range all wheel drive and performance, which will come standard specs, but with 4680 cells. And fifth, uh, actually fourth, a completely new type or types of cars with significantly different specs. Why not? Tesla can do this at Giga Texas. Now, market launch of the made in Texas Tesla Model Y is expected this month, just like Giga Factory Berlin, which Tesla announced two days ago that will start deliveries in March 22nd. While on April 7, the company has scheduled the Giga Fest event, which might be attended by up to 15,000 people, according to the latest reports via Joe Techmeyer's video. To support the volume production, Tesla is installing more supercharging stalls at the Gigafactory Texas site. A new station with 12 new stalls is currently under construction in close proximity to the parking for the newly produced cars. Considering the ambitions and what we saw at Tesla Giga Shanghai plant, the company Tesla might soon build much larger charging stations with 100 plus stars. So what do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts. Tesla Giga Factory Austin um, in Texas now works started on July 17, 2020. 2,481 acres of land. Model Y launch is expected in quarter one, 2022. Like I said, maybe in March. And Cybertruck, that's you know, was supposed to be called Cybertruck Giga Factory, is in development, unveiled in late 2019. Production is expected to be in 2023 at least. But for now, the exciting news is that Tesla Giga Texas at Giga Texas Model Y stock has doubled to over 400 compared to February 27 report. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Let me know what you think about the start of Giga Texas production, the ramp up, the potential, and so on. Have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. Please share in social media. I would greatly appreciate it. Tweet it out and so on. And let's move on to our next Tesla story.